Let's go across to the baby line over Thank you, one more. These little guys come from the Kruger National Park. Look, he loves this. They love their, to be scratched. Ooh. They just love to be scratched. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. Uh, that about, I've lost count, about five, six months now. Yeah. And that one, of course, then we went there and rescued them. And both of them were in not a very good state at all. But eventually, um, we, my, my staff, uh, the staff, Natalie and Stuart, they actually slept with these little guys all night, all day, and that's why the student is with him now, spending a full time with him to make him feel that they are mommy. They're both little males, and they're bonded together, so they have to go together wherever they go. Aren't they lovely? They're beautiful. Look at the tail curled up now. You see the tail curled up here? Because it's an S ecstasy being scratched. Oh, they love that. Tail curls up, you know, it's just saying, oh, isn't that lovely? Wow. Yeah. These are white rhinos. Mm -hmm. See the square lip? How long do they take before they develop uh, horns? Oh, this is about a month and a half, two months, they started getting knobs. Oh. You just love it, don't you? You just love it, yes. And how long does a rhino take before it's fully grown? Uh, oh, about six, seven years before they mature, actually. Like the rhino pair, many other wild animals live happily at Moholoholo until they are fully recovered and then return to their natural habitats. Another of Moholoholo's important roles is to breed endangered species and then reintroduce them to nature, thus maintaining the balance of the local ecosystem. Moholoholo is the first place in the world that successfully bred the endangered crowned eagle. In addition, Moholoholo is also an important breeding center for the serval in South Africa. The serval is a medium-sized African wildcat that was common in the country in the past. Today, servals are absent in many regions of the country. Moholoholo is trying to aid these rare animals in returning to areas where they formerly thrived. How much milk does she drink? It varies. Sometimes she drinks the full bottle and sometimes she just drinks 30 or 40 mils. She gets fed roughly every sort of three hours. Okay. And do you get up at night to feed her? Yeah, last feed's like 11. When she first came in, it was every three hours around the clock, but she's a lot older now. She's about 12 weeks. Another wild animal Moholoholo is breeding are the hyraxes. The main habitat of this charming mammal is in Africa and the Middle East. From a distance, the hyraxes look like rabbits or guinea pigs. Some scientists believe they are the closest living relation to the elephant. See the tiny little baby rock rabbits? There was a disease that seemed to plague them. We're not sure what the disease was in a lot of the areas. Even in the, the southern part of Kruger Park, there don't seem to be any more hyraxes left. We put over 400 back to wild, and we're putting them in areas where they used to be. Say, like in Bululi, we've put about 55 back in, in, in colonies there. The gestation period of that animal is seven months and a week. I cannot... I cannot explain it. A, a lion is three months. A cheetah, a serval is about two months. But this little animal is seven months and a week gestation period. And how many babies at one time? A one to four. Okay. And they only breed after the second year. The survival of wildlife is threatened by numerous factors, including hunting and the collapse of ecosystems through human related activities that cause global warming. Now with the global warming, it's altering the habitat. These animals can't change. They don't have that tolerance or that variance to be able to adjust. So with the result is the predictions are heavy worldwide of inevitable extinction for most of our wildlife. And my cry is to realize that these animals are helpless. They can't do nothing about this situation. And it's us now when the things that causes global warming to see what we can do to stop it before it's out of hand. Through its dedicated work, Moholoholo has gained worldwide respect and praise for its wildlife programs. On tomorrow's edition of Animal World, our co-inhabitants, we will visit again with Mr. Jones for the presentation of the Shining World Compassion Award, for which he was recognized by Supreme Master Ching Hai for his love and care for fellow animal beings. Thank you for your company on today's Animal World, our co-inhabitants featuring the wonderful wildlife at the Moholoholo Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. Up next is enlightening entertainment after noteworthy news.
here on Supreme Master Television. May your life be filled with divine love and light from heaven.